Good morning. Are you ready for the day? I am here to help you get ready for the day. And it's not that I have any magic formula or am anyone special to enable that to happen. But I do have the Word of God, which you have. And I am bringing out things day by day in these morning mindsets for you to consider, to encourage you, to help you get your mind right for the day so that you can live that day more fully on purpose for Him. These last few days, we've been looking at what it means that God revealed Himself by the name Yahweh. And in the Hebrew, the word literally is I am. God said, my name is I am. What does that mean? Well, borrowing from some things that John Piper has written, I'm walking through a few of these. The last few days, we've talked about the first two. The third thing that God likely meant by revealing himself as I am is that God is absolute reality. God himself is absolute reality. There is no reality before him, and there's no reality outside of him unless he wills it and makes it. He is all that was eternally. There is no space, no universe, no emptiness, only God. Now, when we stop to consider that God is telling us that he is absolute reality. It's important that we understand those two words, absolute and reality. Absolute means the entirety of it. There's nothing greater than him when it comes to reality. He is it. He is the fullness of it. And when we talk about reality, we're talking about what really is, what really exists, what is true, what is right, what what is the, I don't know any better word to use than reality of what we face in life. God is absolute reality. Nothing existed before him because there was nothing before him. There's nothing before him in terms of prominence or importance. He is reality. And there is nothing outside of him unless he wills it or makes it. That's what we see in the creation account. That's what we see by God creating. God is the ultimate source of all that is. He's all that there ever was. He's all that there ever will be. Unless he has created something to be alongside him. Such as human history. Such as human beings. Such as the universe, the world. God is absolute reality. And why does that matter? Well, the fact that God is reality enables us to live in a sense of confidence that we can look beyond the confusing things of our day, the confusing philosophies that are out there, the things that would draw us into places of, I don't know, being misled perhaps, and realize that as we look into the face of our God, as we look into his character, in his word that reveals who he is, we can get our feet grounded on solid reality because we know God who is absolute reality. We don't have to be worried about going crazy or insane. We don't have to worry about losing touch with reality. You hear that phrase sometimes? Because our God is reality. So the more we know of God, the more grounded in reality we are. So today, I want to encourage you, when you face confusing things, difficult conversations, you're not quite sure what to think about things, turn to God. Turn to his character. Let him root you in the reality of what is going on around you because he is there in the midst of it to give you that sense of stability. We're going to dig in tomorrow on what it means that God reveals himself as I am on The Morning Mindset.